When it comes to a nation's development, the availability of resources and good governance plays a crucial role. But what happens when a nation is predominantly a desert? Can any positive outcomes be expected in such a situation? This was the dilemma faced by Saudi Arabia, which had limited arable land and received minimal rainfall due to its harsh, arid climate. Despite being predominantly a desert region, a surprising development is currently underway in Saudi Arabia, with the desert transforming into fertile farmlands at an alarming rate. What exactly is causing this transformation? To discover the answer, watch to the end. Saudi Arabia's land area measures 2.15 million square kilometers, which is almost equivalent to Western Europe, making it the world's 14th largest country. For years, Saudi Arabia has been recognized for its hot, arid climate and vast stretches of desert. The country is even home to the Rub Al Khali Desert, the world's largest sand desert. It is worth noting that not a single permanent river can be found in Saudi Arabia. And historically, the country has never experienced an annual rainfall exceeding 150 millimeters, except for the southwestern part, where the rainfall occurs between 400 and 600 millimeters annually. Consequently, the majority of Saudi Arabia's land has been arid, with only a small region in the southwest suitable for farming. As recently as the late 1960s, Saudi Arabia's fertile land area was recorded to be as low as 400 square kilometers, which is a mere 0.5% of the entire country. One may find themselves pondering how the citizens of Saudi Arabia managed to survive in terms of agricultural production, given the country's arid climate and lack of fertile land. However, the answer to this inquiry is indeed plausible. Before the country's significant progress in expanding farmland, the citizens relied mainly on cultivating small fields with local crops. Nonetheless, certain food items that were deemed essential but could not be grown were imported, with only a few crops such as dates and vegetables being cultivated domestically. Despite the agricultural limitations faced by citizens of Saudi Arabia, they were blessed with another invaluable natural resource, oil. Now let us delve into the astounding oil dam. It is a known fact that Saudi Arabia is the nation with the largest oil reserve globally. As the saying goes, every individual is bestowed with something unique. This statement was proven true for Saudi Arabia when a considerable amount of crude oil was discovered in a particular oil field in March 1934. The depth of the dam where the oil was found was a staggering 1,440 meters, making it extremely deep. Subsequently, the nation quickly rose to own nearly 17% of the world's proven petroleum reserves, with an estimated 75 million barrels of oil in this reserve. This was truly a remarkable discovery that greatly impacted the nation's economic status. The Saudi Arabian government decided to maximize the potential of its vast oil resources, and subsequently embarked on a miraculous and swift expansion of farmland. Today, Saudi Arabia is considered one of the seven wonders of the modern world, owing to the transformation of an area that was once a major food importer into a major exporter of agricultural goods, such as wheat, dates, dairy products, eggs, fish, poultry, fruits, vegetables, and even flowers. But how was a country that was predominantly covered by deserts able to achieve this remarkable feat of going from being a net food importer to a net food exporter? Contrary to popular belief, the transformation of the Saudi Arabian desert into productive farmland was not due to any magical or mystical means. Although some of the factors that contributed to this incredible event were attributed to sheer luck, a greater portion was the result of the purposeful planning and actions of the Saudi Arabian government. What precisely did the government do to bring about this transformation? Let us take a closer look at the strategic methods and fortunate circumstances that resulted in the transformation of a barren desert into an abundant agricultural land. The process was initiated by the implementation of crucial technological advancements. This was necessary to provide the resources and tools required to convert the dry and inhospitable terrain into arable land. As a result, the agricultural industry in Saudi Arabia has undergone a remarkable transformation, facilitated by substantial investments in cutting-edge agricultural technologies and rural infrastructure. Despite the country's vast oil reserves and its significant contribution to the nation's economy, 
the Saudi Arabian government was proactive in its approach to creating favorable conditions for its citizens, utilizing its resources to develop its agricultural sector. In the early stages of their investment endeavors, the Saudi Arabian government made significant efforts to establish facilities for the production of dairy, meat, and poultry products. By 1985, the country had not only achieved self-sufficiency in goods such as milk, eggs, and meat, but had also increased its agricultural exports to a significant degree. During this time, a substantial amount of milk was produced, with each cow yielding an average of 800 gallons annually. Moreover, the expansion of fish farms was also underway, both on land and at offshore sites. This increased the production of seafood significantly, and the country greatly benefited from the production of shrimp. Saudi Arabia has become a a significant exporter of shrimp to countries like Japan and the USA as a result of the government's efforts. In addition, the country has made a quick transition from importing wheat to exporting it thanks to the construction of wheat silos in 1978. Other cereals like millet and barley have also been successfully produced. As grain food production grew to an enormous scale, it had to be restricted to preserve water supplies. The production of basic agricultural products like fruits and vegetables has also increased as farming and transportation techniques have improved. This has meant that products like tomatoes, watermelon, grapes, citrus, fruits, and and onions have gained widespread renown in the region and played a significant role in exports for the Saudi population. The expansion of farming operations in Saudi Arabia not only led to increased food production, but also to a greater variety of regional cuisine. Among these dishes were dates, leading to the production of more than 300 types of date varieties that now total approximately 1.5 million tons annually. Furthermore, to help combat poverty and food shortages globally, several factories within the nation began producing thousands of tons of dates for export. This resulted in Saudi Arabia becoming the second largest contributor of food aid to international aid efforts. Moreover, the Saudi Arabian government's involvement in international charity and aid efforts was a significant factor in improving the nation's agricultural situation. The government's assistance to regional farmers also played a key role. To support local farmers, the government offered them interest-free loans and technical assistance services. This allowed farmers to invest in their operations and improve their farming practices. The government's dedication to supporting its citizens and improving their quality of life is evident in its efforts to promote sustainable agriculture and food security. The farmers were provided with access to affordable fuel, electricity, and water, as well as exemption from paying duties on farm equipment and supplies. In addition, the government provided attractive incentives to foreign investors, such as tax exemptions, for up to 10 years. In April 2000, investment laws were established with the assistance of the Ministry of Agriculture, which implemented beneficial policies to aid local farmers. To support Support farmers in achieving optimal yields. The Saudi Arabian Agricultural Bank (SAAB) has been providing interest-free loans and subsidies. In 1972, organizations were established for grain silos and flour mills, which were responsible for the purchase and storage of wheat, as well as the construction of flour mills and animal feed production. Modernized road networks were constructed to connect agricultural areas with import markets. Moreover, the government initiated capital-intensive programs that supported farmers with high capital requirements, promoting economic diversification. Additionally, the government funds research programs aimed at developing fresh food crops, increasing crop yields, and exploring new techniques for making crops pest-resistant. Farmers and scientists collaborate at agriculture research sites located within several colleges across the country. Everyone pitched in, as the water was a crucial element of agriculture, and Saudi Arabia's success in agriculture relied on a combination of luck and resourcefulness. To address the water shortage problem, Saudi Arabia utilized several approaches. Initially, aquifers were tapped to provide water, and it was discovered that the country was not as arid as previously believed. In the most promising urban and agricultural areas, deep tube wells were constructed, which became a crucial water source for the country's drive toward fertile land. Today, Saudi Arabia relies heavily on aquifers as one of its primary sources of water. 
the country also took advantage of its coastal regions, stretching from the Persian Gulf to the Red Sea to make use of seawater. To achieve this, the government initiated desalination projects, which transformed seawater into potable water that could be utilized in homes and businesses. As a result, over 27 desalination plants were established by the Saline Water Conversion Corporation, SWCC, producing over 3 million cubic meters of potable water every day. Furthermore, Recycling water used for domestic purposes is a vital component of this process. Consequently, major industrial hubs, including the capital city, established water recycling factories to assist in the recycling of water. Nowadays, recycled water is predominantly used for irrigating agricultural fields, and these processes have helped to quickly make water available for agricultural use. This journey of creating valuable resources from a scarce commodity is a remarkable achievement. So, what do you think of this phenomenal situation in Saudi Arabia. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Kindly like, share, and subscribe for more related content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.